Medication administration, intramuscular administration. As the COVID vaccine becomes available to an increasing number of patients, it's crucial now more than ever to go over the basic steps necessary to administer vaccinations. In this video, we'll go over how and when to conduct proper medication checks, how to perform proper steps to ensure patient safety before vaccine administration, how to conduct a deltoid intramuscular injection assessment, how to educate the patient about IM vaccination injections, and finally, how to administer the medication. Mastering these steps will provide patients with exceptional care in both a safe and timely way. Let's get started. When administering intramuscular medication of any kind, always follow CDC, public health, and local site guidelines and policies. This is especially important now, as the COVID vaccine rollout is taking place throughout the country across countless different sites, many of which have differing guidelines and policies. Ensure patient safety. Next, perform the following steps to ensure patient safety. Enter the room. Introduce yourself. Provide patient privacy. Perform hand hygiene per CDC guidelines. Use two identifiers to correctly identify the patient and verify the patient's allergy status. Supplies. There are specific supplies needed in order to conduct IM administration. These include the prescriber's order, a vaccine information sheet to educate the patient, the patient's medical administration record, any necessary medication, alcohol pads, an 18 to 25 gauge needle that is one inch to one and a half inches in length, a one to three milliliter syringe, a band-aid or gauze, and tape. Med check one. First, check the accuracy and completeness of the patient's medical administration record versus the prescriber's order. Then pull the medication. For each medication check, perform the six rights of medication administration as follows. The right patient, the right medication, the right dosage, the right time and frequency, the right documentation, and the right route. Med Check 2. For the second medication check, prepare the medication and compare the patient's medication label to the patient's MAR. Once again, perform the six rites of medication administration. Make sure to always check the expiration date on all medications. Assess the patient's skin condition. Now, perform any required assessments for specific medications for intramuscular injection be sure to perform a skin assessment or inspection. Make sure to never inject through any visible rash, bruise, or injury. If needed, check lab results. And if needed, label medications. Remember, do not leave any drugs unattended. Educate and identify. Make sure to educate the patient. Explain the purpose of any ordered medication. Inform them of any possible side effects. Ask if the patient has any questions. Also, ensure that the patient obtains a copy of the vaccination information sheet. Then, identify the patient using two identifiers. And finally, check the patient's MAR or allergy status. Intramuscular injection assessment, deltoid. If necessary, adjust the patient's clothing to expose the injection site. Inspect the site for lesions, trauma, inflammation, bony prominences, and adequate muscle tissue. Med Check 3. The final step before administering the vaccine is a third medication check. This includes the six rights of medication, right patient, right medication, right dose, right time and frequency, right documentation, and right route. After all medication checks are complete, perform any drug calculations if needed. 
and double check any high alert medications if needed. Administering the medication. When administering any medication to a patient, always remember to take the correct route to find the correct location. Also, make sure to use the correct equipment and correct technique. You are now ready to begin. To locate the anatomical landmark, place two or three fingers down from the acromion process and identify the deltoid muscle above the axillary line. Next, clean the site with an alcohol wipe. Apply the alcohol pad at the center of the site and clean the site in a circular motion, working outward at least two inches. After you finish, allow the patient's skin to dry. Next, uncap the needle. If required, displace the skin and subcutaneous tissue prior to inserting the needle using the Z-Track method. Insert the needle at a 90 degree angle using a darting motion. Remember to administer the medication slowly. After the medication is injected, Steadily and slowly, withdraw the needle at the same angle as insertion. If necessary, after the needle is removed, apply cotton or gauze to the injection site. Discard the needle to a biohazard sharps container right away. And finally, apply an adhesive bandage over the injection site. Make sure to dispose of all soiled supplies. Instruct the patient to wait 15 to 30 minutes before leaving the vaccination clinic and observe for any signs or symptoms of an allergic reaction. In our following video, which is linked in this video's description, we'll establish the necessary procedures in case this situation arises. And finally, practice proper hand hygiene according to CDC guidelines. When proper guidelines are understood and followed, it allows you to administer medication to patients as safely and efficiently as possible. Thanks for watching.